From the 11 Alive studios, this is the Georgia Vote with Faith Jesse and Zach Merchant. Nine days. That is all that is left between us and Election Day. And in a race that is expected to be razor close, Election Day could turn into a long night of counting results. That's right. This past week, both of the major party nominees made sure to work at a stop or two in our critical battleground state. Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump, made two stops here in Georgia Wednesday, including a rally at Gas South Arena in Duluth. The group Turning Point Action and its founder, Charlie Kirk, organized the event. A big change in messaging this year, despite his dim view of early voting in 2020, former President Trump is now encouraging his supporters to take advantage of Georgia's early voting window. Most importantly, just vote. Whichever way you want to do it, I've been one that says, whichever way, just get out and vote. Be a little careful. Make sure your vote gets counted. There are ways of doing that, too. With your help, 13 days from now, we're going to win Georgia. We're going to defeat Kamala Harris, and we are going to make America great again. Also on Wednesday, Mr. Trump spoke at a faith-focused town hall at a church in Pike County, about an hour south of Atlanta. The former president made his pitch to conservative Christian voters, hoping they will support him by a wide margin here in Georgia. And he will be back in Atlanta on Monday with a rally at McCamish Pavilion on Georgia Tech's campus. That is set to start at 6 p.m.